Hey, hey, hi there. Dominique the CX guy. Nice to see you again. Quick intro about me, Zendesk consultant, eight years of experience, almost. Um, two years as Zendesk partner, and I've just finished a subcontracting agreement with Zendesk where I helped them with the recent surge in projects. And now I'm here to search, uh, not to search, but uh, to share some of that knowledge. Today, we're going to go down the, um, let's say the basic alleyway, where we look at something a little bit more basic because somebody uh, told me like, this is a little bit too advanced for me. And I thought I'd take some time to also share some of the information, which is, um, well, not basic, but it will help you uh, create a better Zendesk. Today, we're going to discuss about dynamic content. So dynamic content is a functionality offered by Zendesk, which helps you provide support in multiple languages. So dynamic content uh, in itself is a functionality that allows you to create uh, placeholders, which contains information translations for uh, different templates that you have for different languages that you support. So you can reference these in uh, your business rules and in macros, automations, triggers, but you can also use them in forms. So I'm going to go in like per usual, and I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic content uh, placeholder. And uh, in a future lesson, I'm going to show you how to use that in a form. So let's jump right in, share my screen. Here we go. This is my test account. Hide content flow. All right. So I'm going to go to admin and I'm going to go to manage and dynamic content. So this is a list of dynamic contents that I have in here set up. So we're just going to create a new item. So add item. And I'm going to call this uh, form because I'm going to be using this in a form. So I'm going to call this type of request. Type of request. So this is just going to be the name of my field. So I'm going to use this in a form and I'm going to want to offer support in English and French. So um, to do this, I'm going to create a, uh, as I said, a dynamic content going to give it a title. The reason why I said form and double colon twice is because I want to give it a category. And this, uh, this way of doing it creates the category in Zendesk, which you can keep things nice and neatly organized so you can have them for future references. Now, my default language that I'm going to use is uh, English or United States. I have a, a bunch of other languages that I offer support in, in this uh, account, but I'm just going to focus on the uh, English United States and French. So let's call this type of request. Yes, created. What this does is create a placeholder, which is uh, this. It looks like this. It's between accolades. And this is where I keep my information stored for uh, me creating offering support in multiple languages. Now, what I want to do is I want to add this name. So type of request like this in here, for example, the content, right? So this content, I want it to be translated in French as well because I wanted to add it into a, uh, into a form in the future. So let me create this, add a variant for it. French. Want it to be active. I don't want this to be the default. I want this to be in French. So let me see translations because I'm not very good with French. Type of request and in French and type de demand. All right. Nice. So do like this. Create. All right. So now I have my dynamic content placeholder for type of request which is in French and is also in English, right? So now I'm going to go to my dynamic content and I'm going to see my categories. So I have here one, which is called form, right? And it has only one element in it. If I type it, and if I click it, 
There we go. This is my category, right? This comes from the double colon added twice, double colon, double colon, right? So this is how it, it gets added. All right, so now that's how you create it. Um, that's how you create a dynamic content placeholder. And uh, tomorrow I will show you how to uh, add this in a form. See you tomorrow.